All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you through how I write a blog post because a while back I sent out an email um, about how Jarvis isn't the only AI writing assistant there is because I was just getting like tons of emails from all sorts of bloggers and stuff raving about Jarvis. And Jarvis is a great tool. I'm not here to dispute that, but it's a little pricey, especially if you're a newer blogger. Um, so I use Writer. I got it from AppSumo. I did upgrade to the Unlimited Um and I'll go over the plans for that in a bit, uh, but it's 40 bucks on AppSumo. Uh, and I had a lot of questions about how I use it and stuff. So I figured I would just record a video walking you through um, writing a blog post. Okay, so this is not Writer. This is Rank IQ. Um, and I use it to look for keywords. Uh, it's it's a great tool. It's fairly new. Um, it's from Brandon Gailey. I think is, this is how you say his name, uh, the blog millionaire. And so I had already done a little keyword research. This is my keyword library, and I'm going to write a post about 401ks for my personal finance site. So I will, next up I'm going to do is draft out my outline, and then I'll show you how we come up with a rough draft using Writer. Okay, so I'm inside of Writer, and I've drafted just a quick um, few headlines, uh, stuff I want to make sure to address in the article. And this is just really getting together a rough draft. So I'm actually also going to go ahead to see if it helps flush it out anymore um, and use the blog idea and outline. I just put in 401k, what they are, and when to have one. So we'll see what it comes up with. And you can choose a number of variants. I usually start with one, depending on what I'm doing. All right. So here is the uh, explanation of what it needs. See, so this is actually a pretty good title. I might use that. Um, these are some other things to include. Okay, and you see it kind of cut off here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click expand or do it append. Yeah, I'm going to do append to see kind of what it comes up with. There we go. So it gives me the rest of it. Um, okay, so now that I've got some various uh, headlines, I'm just going to rearrange them a little bit. It's giving me suggested keywords, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get a very rough draft because it's a lot easier working with words on a page. Um, than it is to, you know, start a blank page. All right. So, and it actually tells me down here to write SEO friendly long form content, select each section heading along with keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. All right. So now I'm going to select this text. I'm going to say write a paragraph. All right. And I'm just going to do that actually for each section so that it just gives me a rough draft. This one needs some more keywords. And some of this might be a little bit repetitive, but this is where I'm just looking to get a rough draft and then I will rewrite and edit. Oh, told me I was going too fast, so I need to chill out. So maybe I'll take a second to do a little self-editing, and then I will get back into. All right, and then in less than 10 minutes, I've got a very rough draft. I'm going to go through and just make sure there's not stuff that's like missing. Um, so sometimes it like cuts out, right? So I'm just gonna see if it adds anything. Looks like everything else actually ends in a sentence. Okay, so I've got 1400 words. I'm actually gonna export this um, so that you can see it's actually less than that because but still 1200 words. Um, so I'm going to export this so you can see what it looks like completely. Like I haven't 
edited it. I've just appended and had it draft this for me. So I will share that. And then I'm also going to share what the final version of the blog post looks like. Um, you can use all sorts of other stuff here too. Uh, this is just how I use it to write blog posts. So uh, we'll get into more of that in a minute. All right, guys. So once I got that rough draft, out of writer I put it into a Google Doc and I print it out because this is just how my brain works better when I'm editing um, and you can see I made all sorts of annotations and notes so the starting word count uh, was 1567 and after my various edits that I've already typed into the Google Doc it, it is at um, eight, 1884 um, so you can see just different notes uh, I crossed out a lot of stuff I expanded on things. I made notes. So there are some places where, you know, the paragraph it wrote, I was like, there needs to be more information on this topic. And so what I did when I was typing this all back in is I went into writer and I added just a little note and I had it write a paragraph on it. And then I brought it into the document. So this will definitely go through another round of editing because I still have some things I just need to double check, make sure the research is correct. Um, and then... I'll have a blog post. I mean, I still have to do all the like create graphics and stuff, but I'm going to show you inside of um, Writer what I did and then also the other tools I use to finalize and optimize my blog posts. All right, guys, so I have made the edits to my Google Doc. I have expanded on some stuff to include and I've uh, confirmed uh, data and details, research, stuff like that. Um, in some cases where I wanted to expand or add something, I just dropped it in here and then had it write a paragraph. So in here is now a hot mess. So I won't be using this part anymore. Um, but now what I want to do is optimize it for SEO. And so let's see, currently the word count is just over 2000 words. So I'm going to use, I use phrase um, and this is the Google uh, doc plugin that it has. And I'm going to look at the topic score. So the long tail keywords, I'm missing some stuff here. Um, but some of this is easy to um, add in, like, you know, uh, contribution plan. I talk about that, right? Um, so I can just check that out, you know, add that in or switch out a term to get this optimized without being too ridiculous. So I'm going to go through and do that. And then I will show you um, where I end up on my topic score. All right, guys, so I have gone through and I've optimized this. You can see my topic score is 60% or so. Um, the yellow is the average score across competitors. I always, you want to at least hit that, but you obviously want to go over that. I mean, I could keep going and going and try to really get it up there, but this is probably good for now. If I look at long tail keywords, same thing. Um, and you can see which ones I've hit, which ones I haven't. And that's fine, right? So it doesn't need to be perfect because very few things are permanent. Um, and I can always go back, you know, six months from now and update this and expand it and, you know, keep improving upon it. Um, and you'll see my word count now is just under 2,500 words. So it took me about two hours, more or less, to come up with this. Um, I'm not going to publish it as is just yet. I need to go through and proofread it one more time, and I like to take a break so that I'm looking at it with fresh eyes and critical eyes when I'm proofreading. One thing I will do just to start is just run it through plagiarism checker. I've never had anything I've done with Writer um, run into plagiarism issues, but I obviously always want to make sure that my content is original. So this will only let me do up to a thousand words. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and copy like half of this. Then. All right. So it was a hundred percent unique, which is what we want to see. All right. Now I'm going to check the other half of the article. <laughs> Grand, I do still have some things I'm going to edit and review. Um, but, and if you have Grammarly, so you're seeing this app for Grammarly, if you have Grammarly already, you're paying for it, it, or if you have the paid version, I should say, it has a, uh, it has a plagiarism checker built in. So you could always use that. I have had the paid Grammarly in the past. It's a great tool. Um, I particularly used it when I was freelance writing. As I don't freelance write anymore, I just write for myself. I, uh, I don't bother with it. Ooh, so this one's saying it's 5% plagiarized. Let's see. 
think I should highlight it. Oh, so the only part that's plagiarized is just like this question, which um, that's very generic. That's something I did in my keyword research that that's a phrase I want to answer for search engine optimization. So I'm not going to worry about that. If it were like the whole section on that, I'd worry and I'd change things. But this is just, it's like a subtitle. I'm sure they did very similar keyword research and had that question. So I'm good in terms of content originality. All right, guys, so I'm going to put the final touches on this blog post. I finished editing it. I've added some links. I've loaded it in to WordPress. I think it's around 25, 2700 words. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload some, a pin as well as a featured image. And then I might end up using writer to help me draft um, either some social copy or uh, the meta description. All right, so I'm going to need a Pinterest description and then I'm going to want to edit the meta description. I'm going to edit the slug as well. Let's see. SEO meta description. And maybe I'll just throw the title in. Let's see what it gives me. So it gives me three different options. I wrote convincing. Okay, so we'll see how long this one is. It might be a little long. Yeah. And then let's see what else it gives me. This actually is not a bad social description. And actually it looks a little incomplete. So I'm going to append this. See what else it gives me. All right, so if I preview this, should see my blog post. So that's it. That's how I use Writer um, and Phrase and Rank IQ to help me. Um, when I was optimizing, one of the reasons I didn't put it into Rank IQ's content optimizer, because it also has a very good one, is because it is optimizing for just that one keyword or a long tail keyword, whereas Phrase allowed me to optimize it for my over arching topic as well as looking into long tail keywords. So I hope this helped. And if you guys have questions, let me know. And uh, good luck writing your next blog post.